Hello. Thank you for giving me some of your time to see what wonderful work the Ladies Fighting Breast Cancer Charity does to improve the lives of women and men here in our region. You know, so often the money that people give to charity goes down to headquarters in London and then never comes back to make a real difference to people's lives where it matters, on the ground. Ladies Fighting Breast Cancer doesn't do that. It takes every penny you give, all the goodwill, all the support that you give, and it stays here in Birmingham, here in the West Midlands, changing people's lives for the better, with equipment, with support. Ladies Fighting Breast Cancer was started in June 2000 with my late friend Sue McMasters and myself uh, because we had another friend, Carol Nags, who was suffering from breast cancer at the time. We didn't know what we wanted to do, we just saw her going through a horrendous time. Sadly, because she wasn't diagnosed early enough, had she had a diagnosis earlier, more things could have been done for her. Sue and I raised some money and the money was sent to a national well-known charity who promised us faithfully they would send it back to the Midlands. Very sadly we didn't receive the money and this inspired us both to go down to the QE and start our own charity where we knew the money was going to be spent on equipment for girls in our area. Unbeknown to me at the time, Sue McMasters was just starting her journey. LFBC was asked to purchase a tattooing machine. Uh, I had no idea at the time why they required this machine. I thought, who would want a tattoo to acknowledge the fact they had breast cancer? I went to my uh, nail bar, which I used to go every week, and talking and relaying this story to the nail technician, Chris was in, um, waiting to have her appointment, overheard the conversation, and said that I changed her life. I'd had breast cancer, and I had to a reconstruction but no longer had a nipple and was overwhelmed when the Queen Elizabeth Hospital offered me a tattoo which would obviously make so much difference to me. In fact I was staggered how much difference it made. With Chrissy's enthusiasm and the fact that she was a professional fundraiser in the past, what the difference has been to ladies fighting breast cancer is from £42,000 a year to 150000 So you can see she's been invaluable to the charity and we've also had fantastic fun along the way. So then the ticket money mm. is, pure is pure everything from yeah. Our ambition with ladies fighting breast cancer is to provide the Queen Elizabeth Cancer Centre with the finest equipment and the most up to date because breast cancer cannot be prevented it can only be caught early, and if that happens, then obviously the survival rate improves dramatically. Over the years, the ladies have, have raised a huge amount of money and bought a wide range of equipment, such as the mobile breast screening unit. Most of this would not have been available uh, by standard NHS means. I was diagnosed with cancer in both breasts and the lymph nodes. At first I was okay with it. I'm not one of those people that think cancer kills you and I was all right. But as time went on and the test showed more cancer, I got worried. And then the day I was told both breasts would have to be removed, I fell apart, literally. And my husband. Fortunately or unfortunately, I'd got large breast, 36 double G, and sort of the standard test just could not find the problem. So that equipment for me was vital. It's going to wipe the skin, it's going to be cold and wet. With this technology, we can biopsy very tiny abnormalities that we see on the mammograms very accurately and get good tissue sampling for good analysis with the pathology department. It's fine. We've finished. Ladies Fighting Breast Cancer have provided superb equipment for us so we can offer state-of-the-art imaging and diagnostic techniques. For me personally, it means that I have a lot of job satisfaction because I know that I can offer
patients the best technology that is available. Without the equipment, the diagnosis, the treatment, I wouldn't be here now. And I did say at the time, do I really want to do this? Can I do this? And he said, well, the treatment is there. We've used all our most expensive equipment. We've diagnosed you. We're going to do everything to succeed. We want to succeed. It's up to you, but we can't do it unless you say. And I thought, well, they've spent all this money. They've used all their expensive equipment. I've got to go through it for them, for me, for my family. We're all doing this to succeed. They want to succeed, so do I, and I think I will. Who am I thinking about? Carol and Sue. And um, how fair life is at times, and how lucky I am in my life. Um, and you just want to, don't want to see this happen to anybody else, basically. Um, you know, we can all do something. You know, we can all do something to change this. We had to decide how we were going to raise this money, um, but not only obviously raise money, but also awareness of the disease so that uh, men and women um, are diagnosed at the right time. And one way is by having events. The idea is tonight that we have a party, we celebrate life, that's what it's all about, isn't it? And we have various things, we have karaoke evenings, we have... Uh, brunches and there always seems to be champagne involved somewhere and uh, fashion shows anything that we think will stimulate interest and obviously produce the funds but also really everyone should have fun and it's a celebration of life and that's something we feel very strongly about I just can't believe that they can just keep going from strength to strength with the amount they do and the amount of money that they raise for us, but people are so generous on an individual basis, on a business basis. Um, it's just stunning really, especially in the present climate, so thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your generosity. Do you know every penny you give will really make a difference for the better? to the lives of men and women here in our region. Thank you very much.